In this video, I'm gonna to react to Food Wars US Subway versus UK Subway. and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. This is the place where I react to music, media, sports, anime, anything related to popular culture. I'll watch it with an open mind and give you my 100% honest reaction to it. And if you could please hit that like button early, I'd really, really appreciate it. It's been a long time since I did a Food Wars video and I just thought it was uh, it's well overdue. I think I've done McDonald's and also KFC. And one thing I've noticed is that um, the things that we have that you guys also have, like for example, KFC in particular, like I think the KFC in, in the UK tastes better than the KFC in America, or at least that's what I've been told. And also Subway, a lot of people in the comment sections for, in the comments for the, the best sandwich in each state, a lot of people in America don't rate Subway at all. Whereas Subway over here is really, really good. And um, in fact, a few people have said that, again, UK Subway is better than US Subway. So I'm intrigued to see, you know, the, the different ranges of products. I imagine the US range is a lot bigger. You could probably get a lot more stuff from Subway than in the UK. So yeah, this should be fun. So let's go. This is going to be me reacting to US Subway versus UK Subway. Let's do it. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Subway in the UK and the US. This is food. At least the branding is the same or, or similar. It was. Oh. At Subway in the UK, you can get sandwiches in four different sizes. Firstly, we have- Hold on, four? I thought it was only the six inch and the 12 inch, the foot long. What? Toasted bites. Whoa. Six inch sub, a foot long sub, mm -hmm. and then you can get a platter. Ah, I imagine that the platter is probably like a catering thing. And in the US, we have three sizes. The six inch, the foot long, there you go. For you and your team, Ugh, the big boy. Party platter. The old Subway platypus. Now in the UK, a platter looks like this. What they do is they make four foot long sandwiches, then they cut those into fours. So you're left with 16 pieces, each of which is three inches. And for the party platter here, they take five sandwiches, cutting them into three pieces, giving you 15 sandwiches. Ah, total. so you get a bit more in the US version. I'm not surprised. In addition, in the US, you can also get yourself a three foot long party sub. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. Uh, three feet so that- That reminds me of the the subway, or not the subway, the, um, the hoagie that Homer ate in The Simpsons, the one that made him sick. <laughs> I, need, I need to watch that episode again. That is, what's that in, what do you got in the UK? That's 17 meters? It's about 90 centimeters. No about 90 centimeters, right? Yeah. Now in the UK, drinks at Subway come in two sizes. We have a regular, which is 400 milliliters. 20 ounce, Sprite, what up? And we have a large. 30 ounce, boom. Whoa. If you're really thirsty. <laughs> 40 ounces Jeez. of soda. Holy sh, that is massive, dude. <laughs> that is a lot of soda. 40 ounces is a little over three cans of soda. That is way too much soda. Yeah. That's <laughs> way too, that's just too much. If you're a fan of Subway's cookies, in the UK, those come in three sizes. One cookie. <laughs> three cookies. Oh, 12 cookies. Good God. In the US Subway, you can get a single cookie, a dozen cookies. I find Subway cookies a bit dry. Like they, they don't really have much of the uh, the gooey moisture. Like you just, you bend it a little bit and it just snaps. Right like that. Or the, <coughs> hang on, I keep rolling. The 
36 cookie platter. Booyah! Jeez, that's way too much. <laughs> way too like much. Like in Vegas, baby, all in. <laughs> We want to make sure that you're getting the same amount of filling as you do in the US here in the UK. So what we've got here is a foot-long Italian BMT on hearty Italian with lettuce and olives. We're going to weigh it to see if the quantities are the same. All right. BMT. What? Hold on a minute. Oh. Wow, you get more. This isn't fair. So the weights are pretty similar. What we're going to do is take them apart and see how it all adds up. Uh, it looks so like it, it looks like you've got more salami. No, six slices, but the American slices look bigger. They look bigger for sure. The amount of filling that you get in your subs, it looks like the UK and the US are actually pretty identical. Mm, maybe, maybe. So what about calories? We found out that the most popular sub at Subway is actually the turkey breast sub. So if wow. you were to walk into a UK Subway and order a regular turkey breast sub and then make it a meal by including a regular drink and a cookie, you'd be looking at 621 calories. That same order in the US is 690 calories. Now the sub itself is actually less calories, it's only 250, but the it's drink, the, the medium coke, yeah. is around 240, and the cookie is 200 calories. Wow. But wait, according to the internet, in the US the default actually comes with two cookies which brings it to a grand total of 890 calories. Woo! What about the calories in another sub? That's almost half the recommended calories for a person, almost. Well, in the UK, six inches of meatball marinara comes in at 492 calories. In the US, six inch meatball is only 430 calories. Interesting. Yo. Now, because when- What's your favorite sub, by the way? Mine is, has to be the uh, Italian BMT for sure, with uh, cheese and toasted. Not sure why our meatball sub is more calorific. We're actually going to do another test. We're going to bring back our friend the scales and we're going to weigh a meatball. Let's just clean up it. Delicious. Boom. And now I will also weigh one meatball. I'll find a good one. Don't want the sauce to throw off these measurements. Get in real close. Get in real close over there. Ready? You close? Close? Here we go. Drum roll. And... Uh, how much is it? No change? Hard to tell. Our scale is not very accurate. Sorry. Let's get that weight up on the screen. Unfortunately, Subway in the UK doesn't disclose a full ingredients list. However, there are some things we can glean from the website. In the UK, the ham, turkey breast, and steak that you'll find in your sandwiches are actually formed. Uh, the uh, turkey bologna and the turkey... Formed, is that when um, it's basically like the offcuts, like stuff from like the machines that they kind of re, like group together. Like it's not like the good slices of ham. Turkey salami are also made by a process known as mechanically separated turkey. Mm. Mechanically separated. Okay. Here. From the allergens list in the UK, <laughs> we can also see that our meatballs contain milk, although it's not clear if the meatballs contain the milk or if it just comes with cheese by default. Uh, we do have the ingredients list of the meatball sandwich at Subway, and I'll read that to you right now. Oh boy. Beef, water, breadcrumbs, and then we have the kind of square brackets, toasted wheat crumbs, and now we have the curved brackets, enriched wheat flour, now we have the fancy brackets, wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mono, mononitrate, what? riboflavin, folic acid, close fancy brackets, sugar, salt, soybean oil, yeast, and they close the other two. I mean, what is thiamine mononitrate and riboflavin? Like, what is the purpose? Are they preservatives? I would imagine they're preservatives. Brackets, aha, uh -huh. textured soy protein concentrate, seasoning, Open brackets again. Dehydrated onion and garlic, salt, spices, dehydrated parsley, soybean oil, close brackets, uh, soy protein concentrate, and the Romano cheese. Can you scroll up, please? Jeez. Keep going, keep going. The Romano cheese, which is made from pasteurized part skin cow's milk. Ugh. I'm assuming it's skim cow's milk, but to be honest, if I told you there was cow skin in this food, would you be surprised? <laughs> Part skim cow's milk, How? cheese cultures, salts, and enzymes. Which enzymes, you ask? 
they're not at liberty to say, but rest assured there are enzymes. Now on the bright side, the dough is pretty much normal. For the classic Italian bread, the ingredients are enriched flour, which is wheat flour, niacin, reduced iron, thiamine, mino, nitrate. Nitrate? This yeah, is okay. Riboflavin, folic acid, water, yeast, sugar, soybean oil, salt, wheat gluten, cultured wheat flour, malted barley flour, sunflower, lecithin, lecithin. Why all the ingredients? What are they for? Lecithin. Hey, did you hear that? Lecithin. Lecithin. Sunflower lecithin. Dough conditioner, which also has enzymes. Which ones you know now? And ascorbic acid. Ugh. All that stuff. While we might not have an ingredients list for our bread, we do know that it's likely to not be perfect. For example, an Irish court recently declared that Subway cannot call its loaves bread due to the high sugar content. Wow. Subway uses more than 10% sugar in their flour. 10% sugar. Here's everything you can only find on the menu at a UK Subway. So let's start with the subs. Now, there are a few kind of default subs that you can only find in the UK. So then once you've chosen your sub and your bread, we've also got a few other customization options that are exclusive to the UK. For example, in this sub, we've combined a bunch of them. So I've gone for chicken tikka. Mm. It has hash browns. It has sweet corn. It has vegan hash browns in the chicken tikka sub. <laughs> I don't know about that one, chief garlic aioli, it has HP brown sauce, and it has whole grain mustard. So brown sauce is kind of a traditional British condiment. Yeah. Um, the biggest brand manufacturer of it is a brand called HP, which stands for Houses of Parliament, to maybe give a nod. Harry, <laughs> are you really brit explaining to me HP sauce? <laughs> I love HP sauce. I've been, I've been having HP sauce i had a bottle of HP sauce in my fridge for at least the past 20 years. <laughs> Over here we have the meatless meatball marinara sub with some uh, vegan mozzarella cheese as well. And it's on chili paprika bread. Our exclusive customizations in the US include avocado, pepper jack cheese, wow. provolone, Swiss cheese, and banana peppers. If you like your sauce, you can make your sauce. I don't know, I feel like avocado doesn't really have a flavor. Like, I just don't like, obviously guacamole is delicious, but that's because guac has onions in it, it has lime, it has, you know, those strong flavors. But if you take that away, Gu guacamole doesn't have any flavor, it's just so bland. <laughs> if you like a saucy sub, you can have the sauciest Subway saucy sub here in the United Sauce because we have all these sauces, including a balsamic sub sauce, a creamy sriracha, a deli brown mustard, yellow mustard. You guys wow. don't have yellow mustard? That can't be right. Sorry if you don't have yellow mustard. I thought that was everywhere. Uh, oil? Oil? Oil. You guys don't have oil either? Hold on, oil in the sub. But wouldn't that make it really greasy? Okay. Uh, Subway herb and garlic oil, ranch, red wine vinaigrette, and a special sub spice. Mm. So moving the subs to one side for a second, we also have some side dishes which are exclusive to the UK. Let's start with this, which kind of surprised me when I saw it on the menu, but you can actually just get a cup of meatballs from Subway. <laughs> Next, we have the garlic cheesy bread, mm. which I think is just Half of their hearty Italian six inch yeah. with some uh, garlic butter on it and then they kind of sprinkle some cheese on top and throw it in the toaster oven. The last side dish is nachos. They actually just get some Doritos, throw them into a box, <laughs> give you some cheese, some jalapenos. That is an insult to nachos. <laughs> Those is. are the kind of nachos you make in your 20s when you're drunk at two in the morning. <laughs> Chips, cheese, microwave it. Throw on some salsa. Yeah, those nachos didn't look very good. That is, a, that is the most depressing plate of nachos I've ever seen. That is the worst thing associated, excuse me, that is the second worst thing associated with the Subway franchise. The only exclusive side that you can get at a Subway in the US is the applesauce pouch, which we don't have. Unfortunately, the two Subways we went to did not have them available. Uh... Could we get a graphic of the um, applesauce pouch on the screen somewhere near my head. Yeah, it looks like that. So what do you do with the applesauce pouch? Like, Now we wanted to get as many UK exclusives into one sub as possible. So this is my creation. I'll be clear, this is not my usual order. <laughs> wow, he's eating it, fair play. It probably doesn't taste too bad. It probably doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> you got the tang of the brown sauce with the little popping sweetness of the sweet corn. <laughs> and then I just got like a whole hash brown in there as well. Do not order the UK only sub. And of course, 
We put together a sub with all the USA only ingredients, which is a foot long barbecue rib sandwich with the jalapeno cheddar bread and avocado and pepper jack cheese and provolone cheese and Swiss cheese oh, and man. banana peppers. Oh, the US with banana peppers. I don't know what our thing is with banana, banana peppers. Banana peppers. I'm not into banana peppers. I don't know why they're so popular here. What are those? That's actually pretty good. <laughs> I actually like that. Oh. The jalapeno bread? Wow. Oh man, the sriracha sauce? Oh, and the avocado? Whoa, it's got some heat to it too. <laughs> I'm, I'm totally surprised. I kind of like that. Yeah. One of the perks of the job. Ah, interesting. As expected, I feel like the portion sizes that you got in the US Subway are definitely a bit bigger and the range of uh, the sauces, the, uh, the toppings is also bigger as well, like guacamole, you know, sriracha, you know, provolone cheese and things like that. You, you can't get that here. The only cheese you can get here is cheddar, which is also delicious, but you only get one type of cheese. But either way, I do like Subway here in the UK. It's probably one of the better sandwich places. To be honest, I don't know many other sandwich places apart from pret a manger but yeah, Subway are pretty good. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and keep throwing the recommendations my way. I know I say it all the time, but they genuinely help me out because if I know you enjoyed watching something, I'll definitely enjoy reacting to it. So like, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, keep throwing the recommendations, and I'll catch you in the next one.